Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I like nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Just a little something for you guys to be inspired, to be motivated, just to remind you guys where you guys are headed. So if you're feeling down, hopefully this will cheer you up. It pretty much motivates me. As you guys know, pretty much I'm starting to find out I am a really religious person. And this verse helps me like remember where I'm headed. So Chris, hurry up! Where are you? Don't step on my phone! Hi everyone, so first thing I do want to address is that we are having construction in our kitchen So if you guys hear like construction noise or just random men talking, please excuse us and just work with us, please And this is the reason why we are recording in my room today Yes And why we're sitting here together forcefully in one sofa, so just work with us but on another note, here we are, you guys, a promise video of part two, $10 thrift shop challenge. And pretty much you guys are going to decide who won. Yeah, so uh, we're about to show y'all a little kind of lookbook of our outfits, full outfits so I can, I guess, appreciate it. And let us know who won. So here we go. Take me away from So there you have it you guys, what did you think? Who do you think won? So now let's just explain to you what we got. So pretty much I got this khaki burgundy, I mean I'm burgundy. I mean technically you did not get it because that is not, yeah. you didn't get it this I time at, the, at that thrift store. At that thrift store, but it is from a thrift store, it's just this khaki beanie, super cute, I just thought it went with the outfit. And then what I did get was this green velvet sweater, I love it so much, it's so comfortable, it keeps me warm, I wear it to go to sleep, I also wear it to go out, and pretty much you can also dress it up or just dress it down. And then second of all, I got this khaki v-neck super simple and it does have like this little sequence in the back so when you wear like your hair up you can pretty much see it and admire it that does it. not look khaki that is white i said white you said khaki v-neck oh well it's white I said khaki. yeah i don't think i did but if i did then there you go so yeah it's white and it's super nice i love it it has like this cute little design right here 
I don't know if you guys can appreciate it, but you can also wear it down and wear it up. And then this khaki skirt is actually from H&M, so I couldn't find a bottom on the local thrift store. So I just had to put this on since I thought it, I thought it went well with the outfit. The booties, it is from my local thrift shop, but those my mom got it, so those don't count as well. But like I said, it went well with the outfit, so I decided to try those on with this. So technically, she only got two things yeah, from two the things. thrift store. And I also forgot to tell y'all the prices. This was $3 and this was $3 as well with taxes included. Let me tell y'all my part. I feel like I want. So I got, well, technically the shirt maybe doesn't count. Maybe, perhaps, because I did not get it this time at this thrift store. But it is from a thrift store. Y'all may not believe it. And it's probably one of my favorite shirts of all time. And it was probably like less than $5 for sure. But it went with this outfit, so I threw it on. This jacket, let's talk about the jacket. This is why I improvise and why I think I should be the winner. This is... It wasn't the girl section. Or the woman section. But she, I think she tried it on on camera, on her vlog. And I was like, wait. It, look, it doesn't fit her. It fits her long. It might just fit me. So I went to the fit room and tried it on, and I was like... Yeah. This is what I, I literally been looking for a black jean jacket, and I was like, Wait, this is impossible. Got it for a good price, it was six dollars with taxes. It was six dollars, and it's, it looks new. It's like literally does not look like it's worn. You know how black looks whenever it's yeah. new, it does not look like it's been washed. So, four dollars for a black $6. jean jacket, yeah, six that I've been looking for since forever. That's a big plus. Plus, I mean, retailers do say that most jackets are uni unisex. Yes, I do have some shirts from Urban Outfitters that are unisex. So pretty much he can wear them and I can wear them. And she wears mm -hmm. a lot of my clothes. Yeah, I wear a lot of his clothes too. And yeah, and I have some I have some things that are girl section too. And I make it work and people never notice. Never notice. And uh, now going to my jeans. I actually got there, those there too. And I improvised again. I got them and I already got some white jeans. So I was like, uh, what can I do? And I've always wanted to find some ripped ones. So guess what? I rip them up myself. They may not look like, I said fabric ripped, I guess. But there's a certain way to get them look like this. You cannot just chop them off yeah. and like... So if you guys want a DIY and how Chris got this, just please let us know down in the comments. Yeah, I can get it done in like jean jackets mm -hmm. anywhere. There is a specific way so it won't look like you just literally just psh, threw the scissors on there. So I think they look pretty decent. Like, let me know. I don't know. Should I wear these out? Out, literally out? Or I don't know. I mean, I literally wanted to, I guess, make something out of it. And then the shoes, they're not from the thrift store. Um, what else? The hat. The hat is from the thrift store and I like it. Like, I'm glad I found this. I'm very picky with my hats. So when I saw this, I was like, I used to have one like this and I lost it. So I was like, my hat, my hat is back. And it actually looks better than the last one. So I'm actually real, real good with the hat. And the hat was $3. Mm -hmm. The jeans were like 6 This was 6 too. So I kind of exceeded the limit. So I guess it was like $12. Yeah. No, $14, $12. Uh, yeah. But remember, you guys, I improvised. I made it work. And what did she do? I made it work too. So you guys what can see. Ever. I wear it for a PJ. So if you can wear it for two things, you She literally work. been wearing this as her PJ. She yeah. wakes up in the morning and she puts it on. It's um, well, pretty much not. Yeah, like, it's because it's so cold in the morning. So, like, I need something to warm me up. And I don't like using my other ones because they're, like, too big. So yeah. it makes me feel uncomfortable when doing my makeup. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, I feel like we're talking too yeah, much. Yeah, we're talking now. too much. But now. little tip and tricks, you guys. Like, y'all don't have to waste a lot of money mm -hmm. to look like this, yeah. as y'all saw. But pretty much the most important part of this video, my our attention to give a message is do not, it does not matter how much you waste. You can waste a dollar or a hundred dollars, but as long as that you have a great personality, as long as that you love the clothing, just do you and everything will just go simply fine. Don't worry about what other people say. As long as you're happy with yourself is what really, really matters. Yeah, I feel like people's opinions does not count yeah. as long as you feel good, as long as you think you look good. If that's what your purpose is, you know, like regardless if you want to like dress all black or you want to dress all neon colors, Whatever, and the money, as y'all can see, you don't have to waste a lot of money, you know. Don't let nobody put you down if you say, I got this at the thrift store. We say it proudly. We got yeah. this at the thrift store, you know. And people actually change their action. Mm -hmm. They're like, what, really? Maybe it was high school. 
I guess that's the problem more a little bit about in high school because we already graduated. Yeah. But now people are like amused and back then it was like embarrassing if you had something that was cheap, you know. So if you're still in high school or elementary school, middle school, whatever, don't let nobody like judge you over what yeah. you wear and how much you weigh, how much money you have. Like that's, I feel like it's starting to be irrelevant yeah. or is it maybe because we're growing up? I'm not yeah. sure. So she has things in her closet that are up from a dollar up to like two, three hundred dollars. Yeah. And me... I guess I'm kind of the same. Yeah, he's like really average. Just like an average But I'm guy. less pickier yeah. than her. Yeah, she I'm did so not funny. used to go to the thrift store yeah. until I literally almost made her because she didn't believe me yeah. that the thrift store had things. And actually it all started with one of my friends actually because I never even knew about thrift stores either. I remember when it was like what was it like high waisted and I yeah. saw I like I overheard her talking to one of my other friends they were like making a big deal. And I was like, hey, my sister will be interested in that. Yeah. And she did not believe me. My mom, even my mom believed me. She's the one that went to the thrift store. Yeah. And then she was like, oh, all this stuff. So I was like, let me check it out. Yeah, because I'm like super picky with fabrics. Like with me, I'd rather pay $100 for like a jacket because I know I'm going to get what I want. But now that I actually go for myself to a thrift store, I see that there's actually good material. Like this looks amazing. I love it. The material is amazing because sometimes when you buy it off a store, like the velvet yeah. be looking like fake or something like that. But this is so pretty. So you guys, you have to check out thrift stores. But also don't have any shame on wasting $100 like me. Or don't <laughs> have a shame on wasting yeah, $2. Or two dollars on it everything counts as equally the same as long as you wear it and don't let it wear you <laughs> yeah and another tip y'all gonna go to the thrift store y'all might want to like take a couple like hour or two because yeah. they have a whole bunch of things you a have to really bunch. dig in there yeah. to find these type of yeah. things but they have them if they you don't want to waste less literally less around ten dollars and look like this boom there you have and i feel like another tip for myself is that i would get judged a lot so so much about how i looked but the key point is for me when someone tells me don't wear heels anymore what i do the next day wear even taller heels and i even wear a better outfit because i know that heels makes me happy so if someone tells you don't wear makeup wear even like bold your eyeliner bold your contour because next I, day do that yes, boom like make sure that their opinion does not matter because what matters is that you like it and how you like it so don't determine what other people say because otherwise if i did i would not look like this whatsoever trust me yeah. we would not be sitting yeah, here if it was half of the yeah. things people tell us or yeah. used to tell us now yeah but we probably don't even pay attention to it no more yeah i never paid but attention. yeah that was pretty much the whole purpose of this video you guys and if y'all want to see a round two of thrift store challenge let us know because that's even fun for us we get to go find cool things at the thrift store mm -hmm. you know so take y'all with us yeah and yeah you know yeah. but yeah i think that's pretty much it you guys decide who won yeah. me or my sister which obviously i do <laughs> and also um, just don't forget to follow us on our social media so yeah. i can keep updated on what we do like this video please it will let us know that you guys enjoy and also another reason like this video if you like chris being on my videos just so you can be more videos too <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be most of her vlogs because yeah, vlogs for no sure. Friends. Yeah, for sure he's gonna be there. But pretty much just subscribe to our channel, leave any comments down below, and that's pretty much it, right? Yeah. Yeah. So until next time, bye everyone.